in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to add shaders. Just look at this game. It looks beautiful, okay? And it is 1.19, guys. Even though 1.19 came out just yesterday, we already have a way to add shaders and the shaders could be backwards compatible, meaning that you could add old shaders. Like right now I have cylinders, but I was trying complementary shaders earlier and they work perfectly fine. So let's get started. Step number one to install shaders is to click on the first link in the description, which will bring you over here to this website called Iris Shaders. And we're going to click download now, which is going to bring us over here where we're going to download the universal jar. Okay, go ahead and click on download universal jar. And that is going to immediately start the download on the bottom left. And just like usual in our tutorials, we're going to drop it into the desktop. I'm going to move this folder from here so you guys don't get confused. There we go. So we're going to drop the Iris installer into the desktop. And now we need to install the Iris. But to install the Iris, we're going to need Java 18th. Most of you will either have Java 8 or not any Java at all. So some of you might not even see this little cup in here. And what we need to do to get that cup in there is to install Java 18. And even if some of you might see this cup in here, when you try to install it, either it doesn't work or later on it's going to give you an error. That is because you have an outdated version of Java. So what we need to do is click on that second link in the description, which will then bring you over here to this website called Java Downloads. In here, we're going to scroll down until we find Java 18 and we're going to click on it. And then we're going to click on Windows. If you're using any other operating system, Go ahead and try those okay but for now we're going to use windows now here very important that you find the x64 installer okay you don't want to download anything else because you might get a different file or you might get some other softwares installed you don't want any other software just java i think so go ahead and download the x64 installer it is the one on the middle so go ahead and click on download and that is going to immediately start the download in the bottom left as usual and we're going to wait for that to download if you're using opera gx the download might start on the top right whenever i use opera that's where my downloads go but for chrome it will be here on the bottom left let's just wait for that to finish there we go and now we're going to drop it into the desktop now i know what you're thinking okay now i have java 18 so i install java and then i run the installation but no you're wrong we need to run a jar fix first because some of you might not even be able to install java especially if you had an older version of java so we need to install jar fix first let's go ahead and click on that third link in the description and that third link will bring you over here to this website where we're going to click downloads right here it's right here on the middle okay so you find downloads click on it that is going to bring you down here where we're going to click jarfix.exe and that is going to immediately start the download for jar fix here on the bottom left again and we're going to drop that into the desktop as usual go ahead and drop that into the desktop and now we will close all websites now before we install java 18 we need to get rid of any older version of java that we have on our computer so let's go ahead and click on the search bar and type add or remove programs as you can see it comes up automatically here go ahead and click on it and now in here when all the apps load we're going to click search this list and we're going to type java right so many of you will have something called either java 17 or java 8 or maybe you don't get anything at all if you don't get anything at all you're good if you get java 8 or java Java 17th, go ahead and click on it and then click on uninstall. I have Java 18th, which is the one that we need. So I'm not going to uninstall it because right now I'm going to reinstall it. I don't need to uninstall it. So let's go ahead and do the process. First, we want to run the jar fix. Go ahead and double click on it. Once you click on the jar fix, the administrator pop up will show and it will say, do you allow this app to make changes? Go ahead and click yes. And then you're going to get this, which means that the jar fix has worked. Go ahead and click on OK. Now we could get rid of the jar fix and now we could install Java 18th. Go ahead and click on JDK 18th, Windows X64. Again, once you click on you're going to get the administrator pop-up saying that you want to allow this app go ahead and click yes now as you can see it says that i already have installed java 18 do you want to reinstall it i'm going to click yes but for many of you it's just going to bring you to the installer right away instead of having me go through this process for you it might just bring you over here to the installer go ahead and click next next and just let it install installing java is not hard but you do need to install java 18 because any version above 1.16.5 needs java 18 or 17 to work but i have noticed that java 17 gives you problems sometimes so i recommend that you install java 18 which is the most updated version especially if you're playing modern minecraft like if you're playing modern minecraft you're definitely going to need this java or it won't work it might crash on you randomly and stuff like that so we need to install this java 18 go ahead and click on close once the installation has finished and now we could delete the installer for java so just go ahead and select delete that and now we're going to install iris installer go ahead and double click on that and that is going to bring this up in here where we're going to select iris and sodium because it doesn't give us any other options it used to give you a different option back in the day it used to say iris is standalone but right now we're going to install both but then we're going to select the version obviously you're looking for 1.19 so go ahead and select 1.19 and we're going to click install you don't have to install anything else just click install because i'm assuming that you don't have fabric installed so that's why we're not installing it as a fabric mod we're letting it install all the fabric mods by itself anyways 
once the installation has completed go ahead and close the installer you could get rid of the installer if you want i'm going to leave it on the desktop because it doesn't bother me now we're going to open the minecraft launcher go ahead and find your minecraft launcher and launch it so once the minecraft launcher has opened you should find this thing called iris sodium down here in the bottom left it should automatically select if it doesn't come to installations and make sure that modded is selected and if it's still when you select modded iris and sodium doesn't come up click on new installation and in here where it says version you're going to look up iris fabric loader as you can see it's right here so just scroll until you find it click on it and you can name it whatever i don't know just name it iris i guess whatever you want to name it it doesn't really matter because most of us will have it right away anyways once you have it go ahead and click on play and let's just wait for that to load so once minecraft has loaded we'll know we're playing the right minecraft if it says minecraft 1.19 on the bottom fabric modded okay okay so now that we have modded minecraft how do we add the shaders right that's that's what we're here for what you're going to do is click on options and you're going to click on video settings as you can see it looks a little bit different than when we install optifine do not worry because this is still pretty straightforward you're going to click on shader pack here on the top and that is going to bring you over here to the shaders and we're going to click open shader pack folder and we're going to drop our shaders in here if you don't have any shaders or if you don't know where to get shaders don't worry because i'm going to teach you how to download some shaders right now let's go ahead and close this for now and let's assume that you don't have anything in here and you want to add some shaders just like the way i have my shaders right i do have a video on my channel on the top seven best shaders for minecraft 1.18.2 and since the mod that we install is backwards compatible you could use any of those shaders for this tutorial anyways let me show you how to download some shaders real quick go ahead and click on that fourth link in the description which will bring you over here to Silder's shaders one of my favorite shaders ever i've been using these shaders since like our craft 2.8 so these shaders are amazing and they get updated constantly anyways once we're here on this website we're going to scroll down right it has a lot of different versions as you see depending on the computer that you have you might download the light medium high whatever whichever one you like i'm going to go ahead and download the medium you're going to select the one that you want and you're going to click on download right just click on download that's going to bring you over here where you're not going to click anything you're just going to wait five seconds okay this is a website that just loads up a little bit of ads and stuff to help the creator of the mod pack so just go ahead and click on skip once it has finished once we click on skip it's going to bring us to curseforge where we're going to download the mod i could have you go through curseforge directly but it's always good to support the creator of the mod pack so anyways once we're here we're going to click on download as you saw there's not a lot of different files just one file download because this file is compatible with all the versions of minecraft anyways once the shader downloaded we're going to drop it into the desktop for now and we could go ahead and close this website and now we're going to launch our game back up as you can see right here i have it right here and we're going to click on open shaders pack folder once we went through the video settings right so remember let me show you again options video settings shaders and then open shader pack folder and we're going to drop it in just drag and drop as you can see it dropped right in the medium shaders and that should load in here as you can see medium shaders has load go ahead and click on it click apply done 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 and let's go ahead and load up a game just so you can see the shaders working as you saw this world that i just joined is called x-ray because i'm about to post a video later on today on how to add x-ray to minecraft 1.19 so anyways as you can see the shaders are working and yeah you could go ahead and play your game this is 1.19 and it works there's there's no problem with it as you can see it's just the game it works as normal as it should work and yeah you're playing minecraft there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always bye bye